Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this time of prayer and music, this time of worship of God. My name is Pastor Roy Grubbs here at the Center for United Methodist Church, alongside Joe Ferrante, our music director. We're in the sanctuary of our church over here by the piano and organ, and I want to thank Gina Grubbs, who is recording us tonight for this little harvest display, if you will. Our theme tonight is Harvest Praise. We are, after all, in the season of autumn, in the season of fall, and this is when we're gathering in all the bounty from the earth. So you may have had a vegetable garden, and you've already gathered in the vegetables and the fruits, and now we are giving thanks for all that God has provided in the spring, in the summer, and even back in the winter, when the roots were tingling and growing underneath the ground to prepare for the season ahead so that we could have the bounty of this entire season. Harvest praise. What a wonderful theme for this time of year, and don't we need that right now? In this season of fall, with all of the calamities that are colliding out in the world, don't we need to stop and have a time of praise for God and to say thank you for carrying us through and for giving us life and life abundantly? So let us start off this service by taking a moment just to breathe. And even the breath that we are given, to give thanks for that. So go ahead and breathe out anything that would distract you. And as you breathe in, let that be the Holy Spirit. We're going to open with a prayer for praise for the season of harvest. And I want to begin by, if you've been watching our videos, you may have heard the name Connor, who's a young man that has started a garden out on the side of our church lawn. And he planted that, believe it or not, on September 30th and October 1st. Many of you may be thinking, you're planting that late in the season? Yes, he's planting vegetables that can grow this time of year because we don't see a freeze for quite a while here on Long Island. And as he's planted and prepared this lettuce and other vegetables out there, he's preparing to harvest that in the next couple weeks. So this prayer for harvest continues even past when you may think, and remember, all around the world when it's spring here, it's fall somewhere else, and when it's fall here, it's spring somewhere else, and many areas of our globe are harvesting all the time. And that's just taking it literally. What about harvesting and praise for the harvest of all the fruits of our labors, the fruits of our spiritual gifts that become evident in the world, and giving thanks for God for the harvest of all of the people, the faithful people, offering themselves. God, we give you thanks for all of the abundance of the harvest. In ways we tangibly and literally think of that, from all the food that is harvested all the time, all throughout the year, even in greenhouses, where it shouldn't naturally grow, without new technological ways to do that. Lord, we give you thanks and praise for the harvest of the spiritual gifts, all of the good being done in the world in so many different ways by countless millions, even billions of people. God, we thank you. And we give you praise for everything that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' name, amen. So this next hymn, even though it's an evening service, we began our day in the morning, didn't we? And actually, if you think about it more on a metaphorical basis, morning can begin at any time of day. It's not just when the sun rises over the horizon. It can, be, it can happen in the midday or even right now, after the workday is done, and it's like a new day is dawning with God where we can sit and just be. So let us share in this hymn, Morning Has Broken.
transition into a prayer of God's beautiful creation. You know, when I think about it, Joe, you're, you and your wife are expecting your fourth child and talk about creation. What a way to celebrate life in the midst of all that's been going on. And we know it's been a, an interesting year for your family with the loss of your mother, but now the birth of your fourth child. And it's just amazing how God keeps creating and keeps on creating. And it's a beautiful, beautiful testament to life. Even in these times, even in times as it's getting darker outside with less sunlight here in the northern hemisphere where we live, God is still creating and making something new and new life forming, new relationships, new ways of being, new opportunities for people to connect in different ways. So yes, there is a lot of hardship out there. But how can we help to connect with one another and create something new? You know, that beautiful creation out there, you could still go and walk along the beach, watch the waves lap against the shore. The crystal clear blue sunshine that you see so often this time of year, it's beautiful. And even on these warm, crisp fall days, it's amazing to just get outside and begin to see the colors change and Watch the animals scurry as they prepare for the coming winter. It's amazing to think of how relationships can deepen. Even in a season of fall, as trees are shedding their leaves and we think the earth is preparing for death, life is still happening. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the way that you continue to create in the earth, in relationships, continuing to produce something new, something surprising. And that's what Jesus taught us when he came to earth. Ways to connect, ways to bring life to others, ways to let your life-giving force and abundance flow through us into the world. God, we thank you for all the ways that you show us beautiful creation. And we give you thanks and praise. And our next hymn leans right into where this prayer brought us. For the beauty of the earth, we'll sing verses 1, 2, and 4. sister, parent, child, for the beauty of each hour, of the day and of the night, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies, Lord of all, to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise, prayer of thanksgiving. God, we can't thank you enough for the countless blessings we have even on this day, even in this season even with everything going on. Many of us are in good health. And even if we're not in good health, we have a home. You know, I just heard tonight uh, a meditation where they were defining rich and this very young boy, this family member of someone, defined being rich as having a home, having food, 
and having clothes on our back. That's what was defined in being rich. You know, we have all of that, don't we? We are wealthier than most of the people on this planet. And so for that, we give thanks, God. We give thanks that we have this way of worshiping in the middle of a pandemic to stay connected to you and to one another, to continue to listen to your word through music and song. God, we give you thanks and praise for Jesus the Christ who will never let us go. Jesus who is always wanting to connect with us. And if only we turn and listen and follow, we'd be stronger for it. God, we give you thanks and praise for Jesus' model of teaching and guiding and living, for connecting those on the margins and welcoming every single person in and making sure those that society pushed aside felt the most welcome. And God, for Jesus never letting us go, and for saving us in this life, and yes, the next two, together with God. Let us pray. God, we can't give you enough thanks. We should never stop giving you thanks. Giving thanks without ceasing in prayer. God, in a season of thanksgiving, we'll stop and say thank you even more often. Thank you for our breath, for our life, for everything we've mentioned tonight in song and in prayer that you've blessed us with. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God has given us all things, all things to look around and to marvel at and wonder, listening to the crickets still, even at night now. They're still out there listening to the rustling leaves as the wind passes through them, watching the clouds pass by and noticing that they don't look like summer clouds anymore. They're flattening out and they're changing. The sunlight makes them look like they're even a little bit of a different color in those beautiful sunsets. Our next hymn is called All Things Bright and Beautiful. When we walk from room to room in our house, we feel a sense of peace and love and warmth and safety. And we feel you all around us. We give you thanks for the people that inhabit our homes, for the people that share with us in this beautiful community we live in. Lord, we thank you 
for the bounty of the earth has been harvested and is now coming into our lives continuously. And for all those who have worked all along the path to care for those plants, to plant them and care for them, and through all the connections to bring them to us, and for the bounty of you flowing in our souls and our hearts and our minds and how your ever-living spirit flows into us and out of us, lighting up the world. We cannot give you enough thanks and praise for so much that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For our closing hymn, we talk about God's greatness and how God is always faithful to us and will never let us go, giving us so much. And if we'd only stop and listen and give thanks, how wonderful would it be? Give thanks in all circumstances. So for our closing hymn, we're going to sing, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Thank you, God. praise. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, and all I have needed, your hand has provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto me, unto you, and unto everyone we see. Go forth and recognize the bounty around you, the beauty of the creation all around you, and give thanks for this season of harvest. Go forth in peace and love. Amen.